Hello, thank you so much for coming to watch the very first day of Budget Ween Week. So today for you I have the new Wet n Wild um, Fantasy Makers stuff for Halloween. I also have some stuff that launched last year but are still available on their website. So I'm going to be just creating a look using these Halloween products from Wet n Wild. So if you'd like to see swatches and the look, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, I also do a live stream the majority of Sundays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out, come chat with me. I can't wait to see you there. Okay, so I got two eyeshadow palettes, a new highlighter, and a new lipstick, and then I do have two of the shade shifting blushes that launched last year so i'm excited to try these i love white and wilds halloween stuff and i picked up the two palettes the highlighter and the lipstick at my local walmart i'll insert a little clip of what that looked like i just wanted to show you that they finally have them And then I picked up the two blushes on Amazon, but I just checked and you can still buy the blushes on their website. But anyway, I'm super excited to give these a go. But I picked up, so this is called Pick Your Poison. It's such a pretty kind of warm palette. I already opened these, but I haven't even swatched them, nothing. But this is Pick Your Poison. And then this one is called Mummy of the Year. This is so pretty. And then I have the highlighter in the shade Haunted Hills. This looks beautiful. And then I have the matte lipstick in Jack-O-Lantern. I haven't even like opened this up yet. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's gonna be gorgeous. And then from last year, I have the two shade shifting blushes. One is called Vampy and one is called Ghoul. So, okay, I'm gonna go into Mummy of the Year. I'm gonna use this yellow shade as my transition. I think that will be good. But anyway. Next, I'm gonna be dipping into this um, Kind of maroon shade in Pick Your Poison. It's kind of a warm brown, so we'll see how that looks. But anyway, what are you guys doing for Halloween? I that's why I kind of wanted to do this this year, like a whole week of Halloween stuff, is because I feel like with lockdowns and everything, I think I'm gonna do an all shimmer look on my lid, which I don't do very often, but I kind of want to test a couple of these shimmers. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the transition shade right here, and because it's a shimmer. We'll just try putting that on the outer corner. Not a ton of pigmentation. Hmm. I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna go into this one right here. A little bit deeper. A little bit more coppery. Shimmers seem to be a little lacking. I'm just, I'm always honest, so. It might be more of a topper. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into that orange transition shade. I'm gonna put that in the center. I think these might just be more of topper shades. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this one right here. I mean, it all kind of looks like the same, but okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that kind of mahogany brown right here. I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. off and 
just reinforce that yellow. Sometimes, I don't know. I don't like doing like the two-tone looks all the time, but let's just do it. So I'm gonna go in with that yellow transition from Mummy of the Year again. I'm just gonna re reapply. Because why not? Next, I think for my crease, I'm going to dip into this kind of turquoisey green shade right here. And just clean it off my brush on my pants because I'm classy. And, oh, that's pigmented. I'm just gonna put that into the crease. Pretty. It's getting a little muddy. Go ahead and go back in with that yellow. Let's blend out that green a little bit. Okay. So, um, I think I am going to go ahead and grab the shade right here. It's a shimmery green. That's pretty. And I'm just going to put this on my outer corner. The shimmer isn't doing a whole lot either. Super confused. Usually the shimmers in these are like super awesome, but I don't know. It's kind of why I wanted to try both. I'm gonna go in with this kind of olive green. This seems to have a different texture. Oh yeah, much better. It's pretty. Okay, so next I'm going to go into this cold transition shade right here. Put that in the center. And then for the inner part of the eye, I'm gonna go in with this foam green. Wow. That is beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this dark tur turquoise right here. I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and wipe away the little bit of fallout. There it is. Okay, let's go ahead and try the blushes because I haven't even tried these yet. I'm gonna be using a larger brush. I'm gonna use this brush, I think. I'm gonna use this brush for the blush just because these are pretty pigmented if I'm remembering the um, zombie one. But this is called Vampy. These are kind of like shade shifting and they do have a ton of shimmer in them. So that's Vampy. And then this one is called Ghoul. So that's Ghoul. I think I'm going to, let's just try both. So I think I'm gonna try a vampy on this side because it's a little bit more warm. Okay, just mix them up on my brush. Like that, that's pretty. Like I said, they are pretty pigmented, so. Wiping off my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Ghoul, which is kind of that purpley one. I hope it's gonna shift, and we'll put it on the other side. I was trying, it might just look like a big bruise. We'll see. 
Oh no, that's shifting. That's pretty. Definitely has some purple sparkle in it. I'm not mad about it. I like that. Okay, I like those a lot actually. So next, let's go ahead and try the highlight. I'll swatch it for you. highlighter right there okay let's try picking up on our brush because swatches don't really show everything so let's see it's definitely got like a purpley blue cast to it which I think a lot of people actually like that doesn't look bad. I like that. It's de swatches definitely didn't do it justice. I'm going to go ahead and pick some up on my pinky and we'll just pop it on the inner corner. It's pretty. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let's do the other side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop on mascara before we try out the lipstick and then I'll come back and give my first impressions review of the eyeshadow palette, the highlight, and the blushes, and everything like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the lipstick in Jack-O-Lantern. It's a really pretty matte orange. So let's see how this looks. That's really pretty. Um, very opaque. It's creamier than the um, than their regular um, matte lipsticks. I know that they revamped the packaging, but I think they might have redone the formula as well. It's a lot creamier. It's not as dry as I remember, but I really, really like the lipstick a ton. So let's go ahead and just kind of go through everything. Um, slightly disappointed with the eyeshadow palettes. I usually love them. They usually have really great quality. The shimmers are a little hit and miss in my opinion. Some of them definitely act more of like toppers. If I could only recommend, I would definitely recommend Mummy of the Year. Quality seems a little bit more overall just good across the board. The um, Pick Your Poison, it's really pretty, but I don't know, the shimmers were kind of lackluster, but I really like Mummy of the Year, and I still think that these are both very wearable fall palettes, even past Halloween, so I really, really like um, Mummy of the Year a lot. Very, very pretty. The Pick Your Poison wasn't bad, but the shimmers weren't awesome, so there we go. Um, the blushes that were launched last year I think are really, really pretty. They're definitely unique. They're shimmery, so if you don't like a shimmery kind of blush, you wouldn't like these, but I do like that they kind of have like a almost like a duochrome effect, especially Ghoul, which is on this side. It's got purple sparkle in it. Just a really unique blush. Really, really like the blushes a lot. Definitely pick them up on their website. They're like on sale for less than $4 and you'll never go through them. I'm still working on Zombie and I love that one. I've had it for like two years, maybe going on three years, but I'm glad I have these other two to add to the collection because I use can use these all year long. So really, really like these. The highlighter. Highlighter was a lot nicer with a brush. Um, didn't swatch like super well, but that just kind of shows you that swatches don't tell the whole story. So really like the highlight. It's definitely got kind of a purpley blue shift to it. They did have one other color, a kind of pinky gold. So, but I do think it's pretty. I will definitely get a lot of use out of it. But I think the winner out of this year's, so not counting the blushes, but this year's Fantasy Makers would definitely have to be the Jack-O-Lantern Matte Lipstick. Really, really nice. Creamy, pigmented, opaque. So yeah, I, I like this lipstick a ton. 
But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the very first video for Budget Ween. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. I'd super duper appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comments, um, have you picked up any of the new Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Halloween stuff? What do you think of them? Let me know down below. And just so you know, I do have a Macari page where I sell discount beauty, makeup, skincare, all sorts of stuff. I also have another YouTube channel where I upload seven days a week all about budget food. And I have a little Facebook group where we kind of hang out and chat and stuff. So I'll have those linked down below as well. I will go ahead and link the blushes down below. It will be an Amazon affiliate link, but you're welcome to use it. But you definitely don't have to. But these are pretty affordable on Amazon as well. And you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. You can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.